China's economy has been slowing, but now policies have shifted towards supporting growth. And this is very important because China has been affected by the crisis in Europe, which is affecting everybody. It's affecting China too. So overall, we are very confident that China is experiencing what we call a soft landing, which means growth this year around 8%. This is less than it was in the past, but still it compares very favorably to what's happening around us in the global economy and what other countries are able to achieve. Now, over the medium term, China has tremendous potential. But at the same time, to tap this potential, policy will have to change somewhat. This economy has to move from what it has been so successful in the past, which was to rely mainly on exports and on investment, to now increasingly produce for the domestic economy. We now have seen three property cycles over the last 10 years. And there is a need to reduce these boom and bust cycles in the property sector. And therefore, reforms, for example, in the financial sector are very important so that people can put their savings and investments not just into the housing market, but have other outlets for savings in other areas of the economy. The international buying power of the renminbi has gone up by about 7% over the past two years, and actually by almost 30% since 2005, when the renminbi was first untied from the peg to the US dollar. Now, you may not feel that very much if you live in China and consume mainly domestically produced goods. But you certainly can buy more imported goods from China or when you travel abroad, you're better off today. The undervaluation of the renminbi has been significantly reduced, but there's still some way to go. So the IMF currently assesses the renminbi as being moderately undervalued, and we do expect and hope that over the next few years it will continue to appreciate gradually.